Hey guys, it's been a while. I'm gonna try to do more regular uploads from now on. Fingers crossed that I'll spend the time to edit. Uh, I recently went to the Color Factory through a Yelp Ali event where we got to go and experience the exhibits. So here's a quick video about what it's like. When you first come in, you're greeted with a mochi. Lots of flavors to choose from. And as you can see, the lobby waiting area is super colorful. Lots of good photo ops. There's also a complimentary coat and back check. While you wait for your turn to enter the exhibit, there's some fun opportunity to take photos. And at this event, I also got a cocktail while I waited. This drink is Halloween themed. Usually it's macaroons, but we got jello shots that night. Here's the first photo op. You stand at that spot and they take a photo of you with your QR code. There's also a super colorful hallway with lots of pens to choose from. You can pick a color that you like. You may need a partner for this one. My partner drew a super nice drawing of me. I was really impressed. I was surprised by the amount of food we got to eat. You also get to make some music. My favorite exhibit was the Balloon Wishes. There are wishes from students written on there and they're super cute and fun to read. As I float around, it's another good photo op. You also get to go on a maze, which leads you to a mystery door. For even more photos, Now this disco room was pretty fun, super sparkly, lots of places you can take photos. I didn't really take as many photos with my phone, which I wish I had had. So see, lots of little fun things to see here. Now this is a room where you get to spin and have some fun. Make sure you don't get lightheaded. Make sure to find a camera on the roof. If you played in a ball pin before, you probably remember how fun it was. This room has a huge ball pin for adults and kids. The gelato was pretty darn good as well. Give you a souvenir to take home. You can pick from all those selections. If you're too sad to end this journey, there's a neighborhood map for you to experience more, more color. Now let's check out my shots from the exhibits. Isn't this boomerang super fun? Here are some of the photos. You have to work hard for some of these. Here are all the things I left with. They let you keep all that. So those were some highlights of my experience there. Um, a little bit more about the Color Factory. It's basically a pop-up exhibit um, interactive. As you saw, lots of photo taking opportunities. Um, definitely very fun if you're um, into photography or if you're looking for something fun. It's definitely a great place for maybe going with your girlfriends or little kids might have a lot of fun there taking photos and interacting and eating all the sweets, sugar. <laughs> Uh, you might have to be careful with that if you're a parent. I heard about the exhibit from my coworker and looked up the tickets and wasn't sure if that was worth it. But after having been, although I didn't pay, thank you Yelp New York for hosting us at least to try this out. Um, I think the ticket price is more reasonable to me now because uh, you do get to eat so many things while you're in there. Um, I posted about all the food I ate there on my Instagram, so I'll add a link to that down below. And also, um, you get to keep lots of nice photos, which was nice. Uh, the quality is really good. It's like professional quality. Um, 
the staff was super nice. Every single person in every single room were super, super nice to us. One caveat is maybe I got a bit of a boutique experience. We went on a Wednesday. I think normally they're closed on Wednesdays. So the whole entire place was dedicated to the Yelp event. Now, the Yelpers did go in in groups. However, I think we were told that the groups that we were in are much smaller than maybe a normal group on a normal opening day. So that's something you might want to think about. Um, maybe try to go in early and avoid the crowd if you're able or go on a weekday. But yeah, but I think overall I had a lot of fun and unexpectedly ate a lot of sweets, which I'm not complaining about. Um, got some fun photos for memories. If you're interested in checking it out for yourself, I will insert the information down below. I look for a link.